Hey, it's me, Zonovan. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Anniversary Edition Legendary Difficulty Survival Mode Playthrough. How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? I am doing fantastic myself. I am absolutely loving doing this playthrough. I'm absolutely loving doing... Let me start again. I'm absolutely loving this playthrough. If you guys are enjoying watching it as much as I'm enjoying playing it, please consider liking, please consider subscribing. Every subscriber means I get a new subscriber. Every like means I get a new like. And cumulatively, it all really, 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 really helps me out. So, without further ado, let's get right into what we're getting on with, and that is with friends like these. I have killed one of the captives as, as Astrid instructed, and now and must now gain entrance to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary, which is located in the Southern Pine Forest. Astrid has provided me with the correct passphrase. Silence, my brother. Enter the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be jumping in to a carriage, and there's my suit. Yeah. Is that Simba suit jump? No, it's Ember Brand wine. I dropped that a little bit, a little, little, little while ago. But we are going to be jumping on a carriage from Riften and going to Falkreath. And this is always closed whenever I come out here and I always have to open it. I understand why it's got to be closed because it's Thieves Guild, it's Secrets, it's yada yada. I get it, I get it. But yes, we are going to be wrapping around. We are going to be going to... Uh, I did not end up where I thought I was going to end up running around that way. Uh, yeah, we're going to be going to the Dark Brotherhood and seeing what they have to offer us. Seeing if they can uh, offer good old Thorin Verolt any, uh, any, uh, any benefits, basically, being fun, being fun quests. We'll see if they can do that. I'm pretty sure they can. I'm pretty confident they can. The Dark Brotherhood is generally always pretty fun. <laughs> it's always a very fun time. So, without further ado, whoever you are, hey, out of the many carriage driver's cigar. I can take you to any of the hold yes, well, I'd like you to take me to Falkreath. Falkreath, please. Good, sir. Climb and, back and, we'll be off. and yes, I shall climb and back and will be off, as you always say, and Full as I always stadium. repeat, and as I've got to kind of steer away from saying all the time, because I'm pretty sure almost every single time I catch a carriage, I just compulsively, I'm just like, say the thing, say the thing, Zahnov, say it, say it, say it, say it, and then I go, climb on back and we'll be off, <laughs> and I just go... I think I got. I think I got to try and uh, taper that down just a wee little bit. But yes, Dark the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary is just down the road from Falkreath. Actually, so close to civilization. Imagine living out your entire life and having no close that a a a group of literal murderers lives just down the road from you. Also, just imagine living in a in a place like Skyrim, where at any point in time, anyone that just decides they don't like you will just perform the Black Sacrament and then you're dead, basically. They'll send people after you and you're dead, no questions asked, and then you're in the void. That's like the, the, a version of hell, I would say, J just because someone doesn't like you. I think that's a, it's a pretty terrible premise, and of course he's in Falkreath killing everyone, so I really need to get to him as quick as possible, and I need to give him the good old Bendwill shout and get him to stop this nonsense. So back out of this... And shout as soon as possible before he takes off. There we go. And all of a sudden he's friendly. Hopefully the Falkreath, the people of Falkreath aren't dead. Is this a legendary dragon? It's an ancient dragon. Um, you can serve me by not terrorizing and killing everyone. That would be a, a terrific start. Like a, 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 a terrific start terrific start like it would be so great and now i have to actually check if you have killed anyone i really hope you haven't please tell me you haven't mr ancient dragon sir it doesn't look like you have it looks like we're safe it looks like we're in the clear it looks like i got to you just in the nick of time okay let's move back to the dark brotherhood and let's hope he doesn't aggro again See, it's, it's the one time I want them to just fly away. They don't fly away. And the one time I want them to... And, like, whenever I need them to stay for fast travel, they don't stay. <laughs> I just... <laughs> You just can never win. You can never win with dragons, even with the bend wheel shout. It, it makes it makes it a little bit easier, but you still can't win. <laughs> you still can't win. But this is the door, the black door. Some kind of choir with chanting, screaming, um, the lute, no drums, silence, my brother. 
Oh, I feel very welcomed. It's not over my home. I haven't even been in here yet, and you're already trying to be very hospitable. Thank you, Mr. Black Door. All right, let's go. Your follower cannot accompany you here. Of Yeah, that makes sense. Let's speak with Astrid, but before we speak with Astrid, let's, uh, let's look at what we can take, of course. <laughs> <laughs> gotta do it gotta do it every time unusual gem yeah why not let's take it i don't think we're gonna get all the unusual gems in this playthrough but hey we'll, we'll pick up we'll pick them up if we see them there's no harm in picking them up and i mean if we get enough of them i mean then i might if there's if if we literally end up with only having to get like two or three i guess then maybe i mean i could i could, I could be persuaded i guess I don't know, but I could, to be honest i don't think i've ever actually even done it before myself so could be something I should really look into. And shrouded robes, shrouded hood, shrouded cowl, maskless, shrouded hand wraps, and shrouded shoes. Uh, looks like the whole kit and caboodle there. All right, let's talk to ah, Astrid. At last. I hope you found the place all right. Of course I did. So what happens now? Well, what happens now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family, after all. Oh, why, thank you. This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. Uh, I'm honored to be a part of your family, Astrid. Our family, my dearest. Our family. Together, united as one. The Dark Brotherhood can accomplish anything, but you must be anxious to get to work. I'm arranging a job, but need a bit more time. For now, go see Nazir. He's got several smaller contracts. Soon, the Night Mother will arrive, and things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Ah, but one last thing. A welcome home present. The Armor of the Dark Brotherhood. May it serve you well in all your endeavors. Completed with friends like these. Now, who is this Nazir fellow you were talking about? Uh, are you going to introduce us, or am I just going to have to find him? Or perhaps there's a handy little quest marker popped right on his head. What can you tell me about yourself, Astrid? This sanctuary has been my entire life since I was a young woman. That's when I first discovered my, shall we call it, aptitude? for elimination. I had an uncle, you see. He made certain unwanted advances. So I killed him and liked it. Then I killed again and liked it even more. And so on. I was recruited by the Dark Brotherhood and have been here ever since. I met my husband, Armbjorn, rose to leadership. And now, here we are. Well, how about that? Pretty unfortunate way to start you off, I would say, and I am sorry to hear that, but uh seems like it was uh seems like it kind of pathed you towards something you really loved, which is also something that's rather terrible. So I don't know if there is even a good way to look at this. <laughs> Are there any rules I should be aware of? Used to be the Dark Brotherhood was bound by five tenets. But we stopped following those years ago. All those rules, all that discipline, and look where the Dark Brotherhood ended up. We're the last of our kind, and we live the way we see fit. Bottom line, respect your family. Do that, and everything else will fall into place. Seems simple enough. What if I get caught killing someone? Try not to. But I do realize it's sometimes not that easy. You may want to make a statement, or a contract may require a public killing. Murder is obviously a very serious crime, and a very high bounty will be put on your head in the hold where the act was committed. You can run, obviously, but you'll still have a price on your head. If a guard attacks, you can attempt to yield by sheathing your weapon. If the guard accepts, you can serve your time in a cell, or pay your bounty. We've all gone through it. We do what we must to survive. But there is another option. Some members of the Thieves Guild in Riften can get their bounties erased for a price. Something to think about. 
Well, it actually so happens I'm actually the guild master now, Astrid. So uh, maybe there's a good, maybe I'm a good, powerful ally or a good, maybe we might have a good mutual relationship going on here. Where do the contracts come from? They used to come from the Night Mother. Potential clients would perform the Black Sacrament and she would hear their prayers. The Night Mother would communicate this to the listener, who would then dispatch a speaker to arrange the contract with the client. But that was a long time ago. There hasn't been a listener in years. Not since Cyrodiil was overrun in the war with the Thalmor. But people don't know that, so they still perform the ritual. And we eventually hear about it. When someone wants us, we find out. Indeed, just like you found me. Who is the Night Mother? The Unholy Matron, the Shrouded Lady, the Mistress of the Void. She goes by many names. Ages past, Sithis gave a woman five children. She killed them to win his favor, thus becoming the Night Mother. If you believe that sort of thing. Today, she's... well, she's a skeleton. An ancient corpse. But more importantly, a corpse that's been brought to this sanctuary by her keeper. Well, that's actually horrific. I, <laughs> I had no idea that was the story and the lore behind the Night Mother. I've probably heard that before, but I guess I've just forgotten. My goodness, had five children and killed them all to appease Sithis. You are just a different level of terrible human at that point. <laughs> I would say, how could you even do that? <laughs> So the Night Mother is being brought here? Yes. A few months ago, I received word from the Night Mother's keeper that he had arrived in Skyrim from Cyrodiil. The Night Mother's crypt in Breville was destroyed, a result of the chaos caused by the war with the Thalmor. That forced a relocation. I don't know where the keeper has been these past few months, but I recently received another letter. He's bringing the Night Mother here. Soon. Fair enough. Well, thank you for the dialogue, Astrid. Bye-bye. See you sure later. To introduce yourself to your new family members. They're all very eager to meet you. I bet. Well, let's go introduce ourselves to them. And there's Nazir, it looks like. Before we go in there and start looking at what's to see, let's have a look at the armor we were given. So, shrouded armor increases poison resistance by 50%. Useless to us, but, I mean, good generally, I would say. Wearer is muffled and moves silently. Useless to us, but, you know, good generally, I would say. Shrouded cow. Bows do 20% more damage. Again, useless to us, but I would say, you know, useful in general. Shrouded gloves, backstab does double damage. That could be pretty good. That could be pretty good. I wonder how that stacks up with, like, one-handed attacks do this percentage more damage. Because this literally says backstab does double damage. So if you have this, along with some of your uh, sneak perks, which also does more sneak damage i feel like this could be pretty insane actually now that i think about it yeah especially if you had other enchantments which were affecting your or, or even if you uh even if you disenchanted this and then put this on multiple items can you put this on multiple items i don't even know but i i feel like i can see this becoming like getting out of control in terms of its power very very quickly in any case let's have a let's let's go see everyone Okay, okay, wait, here we go. Oh, you're such a pretty little girl. Would the sweetie like a sweetie? Oh yes, how about some chocolate? Oh yes, please, kind sir. My mama and papa left me all alone, and I'm so very hungry. I know a shortcut to the candy shop, through this alley. Oh yeah, very good, very good. My, it is dark down here. Oh, but you're so beautiful. Such a lovely smile. Your teeth! No! <laughs> They're very bad, but you are so wicked. <laughs> what about you, Festus? <laughs> oh, it's so great to kill people, isn't it? Oh, yes. Please, old man. Regale us with your tales of wizardry. Ah, oh, the young and stupid. Always mocking the experienced and brilliant. My contract went very well, I'll have you. Tried a new spell. Little something I've been working on in my spare time. 
came this close to turning that priest inside out. Damned messy. And what of your latest, Arnbjorn? Something about a Khajiit. Merchant, was it? Oh, a big doggy chasing a little kitty. How adorable! <laughs> <laughs> I belong here. <laughs> We're all friends. I am not adorable. It was not funny, and he wasn't a merchant. He was a Khajiit monk, a master of the Whispering Fang style. But now he's dead, and I have a new loincloth. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, gosh. Oh, my. Oh, so much laughter. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's go see what this word is. Word of power learned. Leech marked for death. To kill tributes secretly. And then have the whole thing blamed on the mother. Remarkable. Was a simple matter, really. When one has mastered the art of camouflage. Scale becomes stone, becomes shadow, then death. How do you pull something like that off? Kill triplets and then frame the mother. That's that. I've got to say that does take some skill, but it's also terrible. It is also terrible to do something like that. Okay, let's talk to so Nazir. You're the newest member of our dwindling, dysfunctional little family. I've heard quite a bit about you, and I've heard nothing of you. So let's have a chat. It's. You will hear you will hear even more, I assure you. Ooh, cocky. Indeed. I give you three days before you screw up and someone runs a knife across your throat. But who knows? I've been proven wrong before. And I intend to do that now. Also, are you aware of like who I am? My level, my gear, my armor? My track record, my pretty much everything in this game. <laughs> I, just, I don't know. The person who you know does me over will be quite the uh, quite the overachiever, I would say. Astrid said you you'd have some work for me. Did she now? Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet, and more dribbling in from time to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available, to be completed at your leisure. Perfect. Sounds simple enough. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either. But they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. Love to you hear turn it. Turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. Oh, you do training in light armor. So completed. Speak with Nazir. Receive the first set of contracts from Nazir. I'm ready for the first set of contracts. Well then, let's get started. I've got three available right now. Awesome. Your targets are the beggar Narfi, an ex Miller named Enodius Papias and Baytilde, a mine boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. Awesome. Do you have any more details on these contracts by any chance? Or, yes indeed you do. Okay, I was thinking maybe I had to go talk to some of the other members and maybe they had details, but yes, it is Nazir that has the details. So tell me about Nafi. He's a hapless beggar living in some ruins just outside the village of Iverstead. Easy. Even for you. Oh, even for me, yes, because I'm so terrible at this, right, Nazir? <laughs> oh, I can't wait to prove you wrong about every assumption you've made about me. Tell me about Baytilde. She separated from her husband several months ago. Now the two run competing mining operations. Baytilde's angry and desperate. A fighter. Tell me about Enodius. He lived just outside Anger's mill in the woods. He was once the miller. Now Papias is just a paranoid recluse who thinks someone is out to get him. He's right. And he's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nazir, what can you tell me about yourself? Ah, well, I'm Redguard, as I'm sure you've noticed. Indeed. Though not like most of my kind you'll find in Skyrim. That's for damn sure. Like the Alakia warriors? I'm a child of Hammerfell, 
born of the sands of the mighty Alakir. In that great desert, blood is a shade of crimson I can scarce describe. My past is long and storied, and not altogether proud. But the Dark Brotherhood saved me from myself, and I have never looked back. Awesome. Well, I'd love to hear about what it saved you from, but I'm guessing you might not go that deep, which is unfortunate, but also understandable. It's not like you can truly flesh out everyone right down to like their history and everything that's happened to them. I need training in light armor. I'll teach you how to use it effectively and keep you quick on your feet. Perfect. I just want to see what level you are. You're a master trainer in light armor. That's pretty handy to know. Thank you very much for that, Nazir. Okay, bye-bye. And try not to get yourself killed. Uh, I'll try my best. I'll try my best, Nazir. Let's talk to you, well the done, overachiever who Welcome killed the triplets sanctuary. and framed it on the you mother. Made the right choice joining us, I assure you. And look at you, the most welcoming so far. Hello, hey, Vizara. I've been part of the Dark Brotherhood from the day I first hatched. I am Shadow Scale, you see. Born under the sign of the Shadow. So I didn't even have to ask you what you can tell me about yourself and you already started. <laughs> now I'm pretty sure it's the shadow scales. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's like a few different uh, assassin groups in the lore of the Elder Scrolls. Well, I'm not pretty sure. I'm pretty certain there are a few different. One of them being the Dark Brotherhood. Now I'm pretty sure Shadow Scale is the other one, although it could be named something else, and he could be referring to something else, but I'm pretty sure it's Shadow Scale, and the other one is the Morag Tong, and I'm pretty sure the Morag Tong is supposed to be the most, um, like, feared and sophisticated, the, be the, the most well-established, uh, like, assassination group out of all three, although the Shadow Scales sound pretty crazy as well, because they're literally raised from when they are hatched first as Argonians, and like literally raised to be assassins their entire lives and that's got to be something that would scare your scare you indescribably to think that one of those things were coming after you but in any case what can you tell me about yourself Vizara once i was a shadow scale an assassin in service to the king of black marsh yeah i was correct trained by the dark brotherhood since the day of my hatching mhm mm ah but that was a lifetime ago today i am the last of my kind my order is extinct now, I happily serve Astrid in this sanctuary. I am a trained killer, and once again have been given purpose. Life is good. I understand, Vizara. I understand. You're a simple man. You know how to do one thing, and that's what you want to do. So maybe I was wrong. Maybe the Shadow Scales aren't a group. Maybe that's just what's Kill used well. to describe Argonians that are uh, raised from birth to be assassins. Maybe that's what it is. I might have had it wrong. I'm not too sure. If you know, please let me know in the comments. I'm actually, I, I, I am genuinely interested to find out. Well, on well, beyond. It's raw meat. Oh, my beautiful wife has told me all about you. You sound jealous. <laughs> nudge, nudge, right on beyond. <laughs> let me guess. Astrid failed to mention I'm her husband. She has a tendency to do that. Doesn't want the others thinking she plays favorites. Or maybe it's for another reason, but hey, I'm, I'm just speculating on beyond just speculating. What can you tell me about yourself? Look, if you're trying to get to know me, don't. I don't like you, and I never will. It's nothing personal, but my wife trusts you, and I trust her judgment. So you can't be all bad. Here's all you need to know. I'm a werewolf. I like killing things. I love Astrid. I hate annoying people. And the color blue gives me a headache. Awesome. Well, aren't you just a little ball of fun? Alrighty. Thank later, you very much for that. Later, later. Um, I don't think there's a... Yeah, we'll, we'll just get on... We'll, 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 We'll start. We'll start up with what we, it is we have to do. Our first tasks for the I Dark Brotherhood. Primary contract for you yet. It's all good. Do you have anything else to say to me? Nope. Okay. You See you sure later. Introduce yourself. Uh huh. Your new family mm -hmm. members. Yep. Oh, I've introduced myself to a few of them. We'll get to know the rest of them a little bit later, but we have three contracts. So we've got Kill Baetild, Kill Anodius Papius, and Kill Nafi. Now, let's quickly have a look-see at where all of them are. So we'll go world map and... I know Baetild's in Dawnstar. And it looks like... Wait a second, did I... 
No? Okay, all good. I was thinking maybe I forgot to turn back on survival mode after I took the thumbnail for the last episode, but we're all good. My stats are drained, which means survival mode is indeed on. So, Beetle is in Dawnstar, and... Hmm, where are those? What I usually do, just a quick tip for you for you guys, if uh, if you have this problem as well, maybe it's just me, I don't know. But I tend to, if I can't find a quest marker, I'll like look at a certain part of the map and then just look to the edges because then it will show you. And there we go. So we have Anodius Papius outside Windhelm and Beethild's there and the other quest marker's down here at Iverstead. So they're all pretty far away. We're not getting to any of them in a hurry, <laughs> to be honest. I think the best way to go about it will be... Hmm... I think the best way to go about it will be to go to Windhelm. And then from Windhelm, catch a carriage to Dawnstar. And then from Dawnstar, we're just going to have to suck it up and travel. Or we can really, really pray that a dragon a dragon just comes out of nowhere and then we can fast travel to Iverstead. That is the plan of attack for now. But that's subject to change just like everything is with my videos. So <laughs> let's start being on our way. Where is the closest carriage to us from Falkreath? Is it Whiterun or is it Markarth? I get the feeling it would have to be Markarth, right? Hmm. No, no, it's definitely... No, it's definitely White Run. Markarth is just a little bit further away. But if, I mean... If we're going to White Run, we might as well just go to Iverstead from here, shouldn't we? And then from Iverstead to Riften, and then from Riften to Windhelm, Windhelm to... Yep, that's what we're doing now. Okay, so... Within five seconds, the plan has changed. <laughs> Would you guys expect anything else? Oh, what could be really good is if that dragon is still hanging about. Come on. Come on, Mr. Dragon, sir. If you're still here, please let me know. Please let me know. That would be terrific. I would love you forever and ever and ever. Forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. But it doesn't look like you're around. Why would you be? I actually need you now. So why would you be around? <laughs> let's, uh, let's put down a custom marker so we know which one we need to run towards. And it's going to be the one... Where is that custom marker? I did put a custom marker down, didn't I? I'm not, uh, yeah, the custom marker is down. How am I not seeing it? Maybe it's because it's behind all these icons. No, so it's off to the right. So it's got to be one of these ones. I think it's because it's like literally directly behind this icon. That's why I can't see it. So I'll just put it a little bit off to the side. And there we go. Now I can see it. Awesome. Okay. Let's start making our way. The long, arduous journey. Now it won't be that long. It won't be that long, probably. Hopefully. Hoping it won't be that long. I don't think it is. I'm just going to have to quickly look. I'm going to have to intermittently look at the map and try and guess where the roads are. So yeah, when I get... No, you don't know me. You don't know me. Nobody knows me. Nobody knows me. So, yeah, when I do the 100% playthrough, as I've mentioned many, 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 many times before now, there will be, it will be modded. It will be a modded 100% play. Did you just pull your, like, I thought, he, I thought he pulled his bow out, and I was like, what? the only reason he would be pulling his bow out is if he had an enemy and a bow it would be perfect for a dragon because they're flying, so maybe that's why he's pulling it out. Please, please. And it didn't turn out to be the case, but yeah. When I do my 100% playthrough, there will be a certain mod I'll be getting. It's basically, I can't remember the exact name. I'm pretty sure it's something just as simple as improve. Who are they killing? Oh, it's a vampire. Oh, that's weird to see a vampire cowering. You don't usually come across that. But in any case, we're just going to keep on doing our own thing. Ignore them completely. Yeah, so the mod I'll be getting, and the mod that uh, would be extremely handy to have now, but it is what it is. This is a vanilla playthrough, so we don't have it, of course is uh, improved maps, essentially. It's uh, a really, really good mod. And to be honest, I'm not, I'm not sure if you guys have seen all my previous episodes or if this is like one of your first episodes or whatnot. But basically, this is a vanilla playthrough and I have not done a vanilla playthrough in a super long time. Pretty much every single playthrough since I got Skyrim on the Xbox One has had mods and lots and lots and lots of mods <laughs> i have not played vanilla skyrim probably since the xbox 360 days to be honest but uh yeah this being the first vanilla playthrough i have i can tell you there is a lot of mods that i am like missing just a little bit and one of them is the improved map of skyrim it's just so handy it's just so handy because it it really details and fleshes out how the map actually lo actually looks and like shows you where roads lead, where forts are. See, like right now I'm heading up to 
Helgen, and like all, all of this stuff here would just it, like you'd be able to see it so much more clearly. You'd be able to see roads more clearly. You'd be, be be able to see paths more clearly. You'd just be able to see everything way more clearly, and you'd be able to plan out your journeys just a little bit better. I'm not going to bother dealing with you guys, just because I could kill you super quickly, but I don't really need to. What I need to do is get on with this quest, so you guys can thank me later. I'm letting you live. Usually, I wouldn't be able to pass up an opportunity to, you know, just get out my bow and level up a little bit, get a few levels going, kill a few of you. But, uh, and oh, gee, I usually really love doing it in Helgen too. I don't know why, just, just revisiting Helgen specifically and then killing the bandits that spawn there. I don't know. I just find it so satisfying. I just find it as like a really nice, fun thing to do. <laughs> it sounds awful. But it's just a really fun thing that I usually try, that I usually do do. Oh, man. Look at that, look at that night sky. Look at that night sky. That is something that is really good about, yeah, I'm, I know I'm kind of butchering it. It's not looking that great right now because I can't look all the way up. But I've got to say, the, the I'm, I'm almost certain there is a vast improvement between the special edition edition and old room because i'm pretty sure old room was a very 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 bland very low resolution night sky but also while we're talking about mods on the theme of mods you can get some super impressive sky boxes with mods like some of the, some of these mod creators are just crazy with how good that uh, yeah, including the anniversary edition content, obviously. Basically, everything I've said for the anniversary anniversary edition content so far, basically, you know, being, you know, pat yourself on the back, this is a really good job, yada, yada, yada. I mean all of that. Please don't say, please don't think that just because I'm skimming over it right now that it's, uh, you know, that I'm, that anything is taken away from those people. They've all done a really good job, but I'm just saying it in reference to just general mod creators as well. Like, everyone that contributes to the mod community has just usually ha does a really good job. Over here. No, I know who you are. I don't want to do it. Please don't kill this wandering. Please don't kill this guy. He's, he's a pretty cool guy, vampires. Please don't kill him. I'd, I'd really prefer it if you didn't. But yeah, back to what I was talking about. There is a there are mods you can get which really improve the skybox out of sight like just increase the the resolution and the vibrance of the moons and all that. That's another really cool thing about Skyrim. It's just there is just oh, well, Skyrim. I'm talking about the Elder Scrolls in general. And the Elder Scrolls in general is in general what's really cool is just the amount of lore that there actually is. So I'm pretty sure all those moons up there actually have names and stuff and like I don't know them, but it's just cool to know that it actually does go that deep. That if you do want to, like, say, if I do have time and I do set aside to, like, to, like, find these things out, there is something to find out. It's not just, like, a void of, like, oh, yeah, the developers just placed in, like, random planets and moons in the sky, but they don't actually mean anything. Like, th those, those things actually have a meaning, and it's super, super cool that that is the case. Because you could quite easily just put in that skybox, and I swear every time I run past here... That cart spawns right here and rolls down. And I feel like it's for something, but I don't think it actually is. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's just really cool that they put in that level of detail. Because they could, as I was saying, they could just quite easily put in a skybox, put in a few planets, put in a, full, a few moons, and everyone's like, wow, I wonder what that is, but then not actually expand on it at all. But I'm pretty sure they actually have. I'm pretty sure there actually is, like... Like, each one of those moons and planets and whatnot actually have names and actually have, like, their own little thing about them, their own little detail, which is extremely cool. And that's what just makes Skyrim, as the game itself, being... being that's what makes Elder Scrolls great, but Skyrim, the game itself, that's what Bethesda really succeeded on as well as... As I say, all the time, can be as detailed or as simple as you want it to be. There's the lore there for you if you want to delve into it. There's the mechanics there for you if you want to delve into them. You can min-max as much as you want. Or you can just pick up and play the game and just be like, hey, cool, uh, look at that cool skybox. Wow, so awesome. And like, oh, wow, now I'm this level here. Wow, really cool. It's as simple or as complex as you want it to be, and it's super, super, super nice. But in any case, hello, Nafi. What do you want? Hey, hey, calm down, calm down. It's okay. I'm just here to talk to you. I'm just, uh, beg, beg for your miserable life. Your pathetic existence has come to an end, Navi. I'm going to remain silent because both of these options, I'm pretty sure, just sends him running and it just becomes very painful trying to get this guy. So I'm going to remain silent. Do you want something? Look, if you ain't going to talk or spare no coin, just go away. Oh, I can do that, Navi. Now, can I talk to you again or... Please just, just leave me be. You asked me to leave you alone. Now, 
I know this is a little bit weird because I am about to kill you, but you don't know that yet, so, you know, don't start running. But what have you got? Because I want to level up my pickpocketing. <laughs> I'm going to kill you anyway, so why not? We'll take the gold. We'll take the lockpick. We'll take the honey nut tree. Uh, will we? It's kind of useless for hunger. Uh, we'll take it anyway. And silver ring, because why not? Because why not? And actually, I'll give you the silver ring back. Give you that back and boom and perfecto mundo. Now you just stay right there, Nafi. Okay, don't worry about a single thing. Nobody's here to kill you. What are you thinking? You're such a nice guy. Nobody would want to kill you. What are you talking about? Well, we've got to make sure we actually do kill him. <laughs> Nobody's gonna kill you. And then all of a sudden, the, the switch in the tone of voice and everything. And now we're gonna make sure I actually do kill him by getting out the bone arrows because I don't want to hit him and then have him running away and whatnot. It's just painful, painful, painful. Don't want to deal with it. And just to add to everything, not that we actually need to, but because I can, we'll get some muffle going, get some invisibility going, and then we'll pull out the weapon, and then, Nafi, time to say night night. Boom, there we go, and he's gone. And it sounds like there's a bear over there, or s there's something somewhere, oh, up there. Looks like my good old friend, what's his name? I think it's Goth. I'm going to call him Goff, <laughs> because I can't remember his name. I'm pretty sure he's up there, and oh no, I wasted the bone arrow, because I can't. I thought I'd be able to get it back. Ah, oh, dang, that's kind of unfortunate. Oh well. Uh, what have you got in here, Nafi? What have you got for us? Not a lot, as expected, to be honest, because it doesn't look like you're living in... doesn't look like you're living in luxury, so yeah, should have expected that. Let's run back over here and get our bearings while Goff takes on the bear. Do I want the Nernroot? No, nah, not really. I'm just going to have to sort it out later. I don't really need it for anything. If I want Nernroot, I can just go to Avrusi's farm. I think it's Avrusi. Yeah can just go to that farm and pick like 10 of them straight off the ground. Now, what is the best course of action from here? It's going to be to go to Riverwood and then catch a carriage to Windhelm, right? Yeah, so I think so. I think that is the plan of attack going forward. And then from Windhelm to Dawnstar. Okay, well, let's get out our beautiful little horse. Nightmare, nightmare, oh nightmare. Hello, you beautiful thing. The one horse that's never let me down aside from Glade. I know Glade has been pretty dang good as well. Has he let me down? I don't know. I got him really early in the playthrough and used him like solely for such a long time uh, that I, I literally, I, I, I actually cannot remember if he has let me down. I know the Gregory's let me down. The Gregory's are still out and about and I know they let me down. They let me down plenty, but I don't think Glade ever really did. And of course, you know, Nightmare really can't because I just summon him whenever I want him. Um, just thinking... Yeah, yeah, okay. <sighs> I was just thinking about how I'm just... I, was just I, I had like a quick second guess of myself if this was the best way to do it, but it definitely is the best way to do it. To catch a carriage from uh, Riften to Windhelm and then from Windhelm to Dawnstar. <gasps> Unless a dragon comes about, of course. If a dragon could come, that would be terrific. I, I'd love that dragon forever and ever and ever until it despawned. Um, and I'm almost certain that when I, was, when I had that dragon out at Golden Hills Plantation... And I kept on bend willing it. It always eventually aggroed again on me, didn't it? And that's what. Oh, of course, there's Dawn Guard here. Of course, why wouldn't there be? <laughs> I swear, I've never seen so many random interactions from any other faction aside from the Dawn Guard. These guys have been on my tail pretty much since I became a vampire, and they have just—they are the most persistent Dawn Guard. This is the most persistent playthrough where the Dawn Guard has, like, just come after me multiple times every episode without fail. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, getting back to what I was saying, I'm pretty sure when we had that dragon out, the, out at Golden Hills Plantation, it kept on eventually aggroing on me again. And that's kind of what I was counting on when I bend-wheeled that shout, uh, bend-wheeled that dragon at uh, Falkreath. I thought he was going to kind of hang around while I did my thing in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary and then I'd be able to come back out and use him 
and that's kind of why I was looking around for him a little bit. I was kind of like, uh, Ancient Dragon, Mr. Ancient Dragon, you're still here, aren't you? And of course he wasn't, because why would he be? Why would he be there when I need him to be there? Why would he be there? Why would he do the thing that the other dragon was doing when I actually needed the dragon to do that thing? <sighs> the answer is because Zarnov needed him to do it. That's why he wouldn't do it. <laughs> Heartwood Mill, not the mill I was thinking of. I was thinking of... What is it called? It's called... Is it Blood Something Mill? No, I don't think it is, but there is another mill that we will be visiting a little bit later on in the Dark Brotherhood for a nefarious reason. Um, how far is... I didn't think Riften was too far away from Iverstead, especially when traveling by horse, and it's seeming like we are getting pretty close now, because... I think this is the this is Lake whatever it is where we got the Quill of Gemination and is that is that no that's that's the uh, not the honey that's what is it that's Golden Glow Estate that's what it is Golden Glow Estate really testing my memory here really really testing my memory not at all something that Zanov should do <laughs> the memory band with the brain band with the spread is spread far enough without having without trying to recall all of these names from places all over the map and characters all over the map. <laughs> Really should give myself a break, but hey. Oh, hey there, Mr. Troll. I'm almost, I'm really tempted just to jump off and do the archery thing again because it's so insane to me just how much damage I am doing with this bow now. Like, obviously, I know the bow is, like, crazy. <laughs> I know the bow is crazy. I know the, the damage on the bow is crazy because, obviously, you know, I, I did the whole Necromage perk and then the potion and the all, all those kinds of all that stuff so I know why it's crazy but still it's hard to believe that it's that crazy on legendary difficulty it just doesn't I've, I've just never I don't think I've ever pushed it that far on a legendary playthrough which is why it's so surprising to me but in any case cigar can take you to any of the hold capitals perfect please take me Where to Windhelm to uh Windhelm please that would that would be perfect thank you Climb and back and we'll be off. Yes, and I will do that without saying what you just said because I need yet? to stop doing that. There's a lot of things I'm catching myself out on these videos these days and I, I need to I'm becoming more and more aware of them and I need to I need to be focused on not allowing them to creep into my lexicon and my vocabulary so much. Oh my goodness, we are going straight into Windhelm to get our stats back up to one hundred. Why does it sound like I'm walking with bare feet? Or is that goth? It's definitely goth, isn't it? Yep, yeah, okay. I was like, what? I've got, I'm 100% sure I have dragon scale boots on. Wow, we are moving slow. You are very cold. Wow, couldn't have, couldn't have, uh, couldn't have come to that conclusion with good old Thoran Verolt breathing super heavily and just seeming super, super uncomfortable. <laughs> Uh, hello there, Mr. Guard. Don't mind me, just moving col just moving very slow, about to die. Yeah, I'll just come in here and go to Candle Half Hall and get some sleep going. Oh my goodness, the stats, the stats, they're terrible. <sighs> and what is, what, what in the, okay, we, 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 I'll come back out in a second. I'll come back out in a second. I just cannot afford to... to oh, but that's a dead person. I hate it when this people... Wow, how did they die? They didn't die when I was here. I would have noticed it for sure. Eldel early dawn. Oh, perfect. Well, actually, I'd like a room to rent. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you. Now, is there anybody else sleeping in here? Yep, of course. I'm just going to see if there's anybody sleeping. Uh, is that a strong box? Master. Don't mind if I do. Just give me one second. <laughs> and... Come on, give me the... Oh, my... I'm just thinking about my lock picking is going to be awful because I'm super cold. This is going to be like... This is... This is going to be master on steroids because I'm pretty sure I've got an active effect on right now from being super cold that like lock picking is 50% harder or something crazy like that. Yeah, this is going to be a nightmare trying to get this thing. I think the sweet spot is literally going to be a pixel. Like, literally a ridiculous little pixel. Oh, come on, but I want to get it, though. It's challenge accepted. <laughs> Zarnov, ex Zarnov accepts the challenge. I really want to get it now. Oh, come on, I'm so close. Is it a little bit that way? <gasps> oh, the pain. The pain. Come on, just give it to me. Just give it to me. Please. Please, I was so close. You can't do this to me. 
Okay, so it's a little bit up from there. I've got plenty of lockpicks left, so I'm not really fussed or worried about that. There we go. Boom. 263. Why? Yeah, well, let's just take it. I went through all that trouble. Might as well take it. Oh, jeez. In my ear. Please don't do that again. My goodness. Okay, let's sleep for 24 hours. Our hunger is going to be awful. It is going to be awful. Uh, food. Lots of food. Lots and 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 lots of food. Let's take that honey nut treat just to get rid of it. Bang. And then we'll go hawk a loaf because that's heavy. And I don't think there's anything else that's super heavy, right? Yeah, so we'll go apple pie, cooked beef, and we'll go a rabbit haunch. That's got to get us up there, right? You feel better now. Satisfied? Not quite there yet. Another rabbit haunch. You are well fed. Love to see it. My goodness, all of this noise going on making it very hard for me to think. But in any case, we're going to put a big pause on that. And you hear that? Peace and quiet. Love to hear it. And with that, that is going to have to do it for today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please consider liking. Please consider subscribing. Turn on the notification bell and leave any comments below, any recommendations, or just stop by to say good day because I absolutely love the interactions and I promise I'll respond to everybody. But regardless of whether or not you do anything I have just asked, please have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.